Hi everybody, I'm JT and welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So today is a very exciting day. We are off to France. After many months of waiting to find out whether we can go, whether we can't go, waiting to find out about Brexit, Covid, all sorts of things, we finally managed to get everything lined up so we can go. There's only one piece of the jigsaw puzzle left. We're just waiting for authorization on a PCR test for our middle son but all being well we're going to get packed up this morning and head down to the Euro tunnel for our crossing this evening so fingers crossed we're about to head off on our 2021 camper van adventure So we'll get all of our kit and everything organised and loaded up into the van this morning. Honey's not going to be coming with us, so it's a long trip uh, for a dog to make in a van. So we've decided that she's going to go and stay with um, some friends. And uh, we're all ready to enjoy two weeks in hopefully sunny France. Three stops are planned this year. And again, we've decided because of Covid to pre-book those rather than random stop-offs. So we've already made our bookings and I'll share details a little bit later on about where we're going, where we're staying and the regions we're going to enjoy. Remember to hit the button to like and subscribe if you want to follow our travels and uh, hope you enjoy it. And any comments you want to drop, please drop them below. And uh, we'll look forward to sharing what hopefully is going to be another amazing trip. It seems like it's been a long time coming, waiting for us to be able to go. We'll also cover off a little bit later on about some of the protocol and procedures we've had to go through to to enable us to get away because it has certainly not been as easy or as straightforward as it's been in the past. So a couple of the first changes we've got to make in terms of getting the van ready is these GB stickers are no longer valid. So we're going to have to replace the GB sticker here and the GB stickers on the number plate for something that doesn't have the Euro symbol on. So very, very simple fix. So you just swap those over and we've got some stickers to go on the plates to hopefully cover up those without any problem at all. OK, so trip update. We've had a major drama this morning. Um, part of the new um, processes for travelling uh, through the Euro Tunnel involve you submitting your vaccination status uh, through what they call their API or advanced passenger information ahead of going. Now, Claire and I have both been double jabbed. Harry is uh, under 10 years old so doesn't need to jab. Ben is in a funny middle ground where he hasn't had a jab as yet um, and needs to have had a clear test within 24 hours of travel. Now we pre-booked a test uh, with a local pharmacy, carried that out, um, they assured us that this was going to be uh, applicable, the correct test for travel, um, But and then we received uh, an email through to confirm Ben's negative status, uploaded that onto the Eurotunnel website, so that part was all very straightforward and we have to say Eurotunnel process has been really good. Um, however, within two or three hours of uploading it this morning, we got a notification through to say that uh, Ben's application or Ben's vaccination status is incorrect. So this is basically because the test was carried out just outside of the 24-hour cutter for the window. So despite us um, speaking to the pharmacy company at the time saying this is the time we're traveling this is when we need the test and trying to make sure that it was all applicable we've spent 100 or so pounds and it's a complete waste of money so we've had to rush around this morning trying to find an option for a either a pcr or lateral flow test that we can get a result from uh, pretty much immediately um, so that we can still take our booking uh, to travel over this evening so Claire and Ben have jumped into the car to rush down to a 
testing facility near Bournemouth uh, where apparently we can get a lateral flow test done through on a dry fly. That, that's an acceptable test standard and we'll get the test results within hopefully within three or four hours. So fingers crossed we're going to be okay and good to travel later. So Harry and I are going to stay here, finish packing the van up and then we'll hopefully be on our way later. But I have to say thumbs up to Eurotunnel um, despite being on hold for 35, 40 minutes. When I got through to them they were very helpful, they're quite understanding as well but just said look sorry that's the way it is um, and fortunately we've been managed hopefully to get an alternative booked. So very much a learning process and if you're thinking or planning for going at the moment I'll go into a bit more detail in another video about uh, what we've had to do to get through this but it's taken a lot of work and I tell you what we're going to need our holiday when we arrive just to get over the process but fingers crossed we're going to be all okay. So we're pretty much loaded up with everything that we need, got all of our stuff in. do like to use these large really useful boxes just to chuck everything in and because I said this is a California beach without the kitchen and storage down the side we've got more luggage space and our big tent and everything parked down there so if you remember from other videos you'll see I'll show you the setup later. Um, but we pitch our tent alongside the van, put the pop top up. So a couple of the boys will sleep in the roof. We use the tent. We're probably going to be over tented this year because we've still got our large tent from when five of us were going. And Sam's not travelling us with us this year. And uh, but fingers crossed, we're all good to get going on our trip. So bikes on, boot loaded. Harry and I hopefully are just about ready to go. We're just waiting for Claire and Ben to come back from having their second test. So fingers crossed that all goes to plan. And next stop, Eurotunnel. Stop press, they're on their way back. Hopefully the test is clear. Alright, feels as if we've forgotten someone. <laughs> we have forgotten There's someone. There's a big space in the middle there. There's a big gap. Let's go. Let's go before we decide. Oh, should we go get those chairs out of the lot? Camper van adventure 2021 is on. Again. Oh, and it's off. It's on, it's off. In on, in on, in on. <laughs> Next stop, Euro. I knew where something was up when I came home. You weren't loading. loading. <laughs> so we've just stopped off for a quick pit stop on way, a quick McDonald's, logged onto the Eurotunnel website, and Ben's test has now been validated. So we are good to go.
So thanks for taking the time to watch the first video in our series of our trip around France this summer and join us on the next video when we come out the other side of the Euro Tunnel and make our journey down to our first campsite in the Burgundy region of France. So thanks for watching, remember to hit the button to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next video very soon. Thank you.